Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the vlog number 10 of the BMW Z4 and today we're going to work on the rear rotors and also rear brake pads. So pretty much long story short, I have already done the passenger side and everything is pretty simple. The only thing I haven't done is paint the caliper. And over here we have both rotors. This is the OEM rotor, the O1, and this is the brand new StopTech rotor. Um, I'm gonna put the part number in the description. Uh, feel free to check it out. You can get this on Amazon. They're pretty cheap and the quality is pretty good. I pretty much run StopTech on all my cars, on my race cars, now on my daily. So they're pretty reliable. And the good thing about this is this is a OEM replacement. It's pretty much a plug and play product. And pretty much on this side, we have the OEM rotor. I believe that these are 90,000 miles. They're pretty beat up and rusty. Um, it's time to for upgrade. So pretty much just jacked up the car. Now it's time to release the wheel and the rear brake assemblies. So pretty much here you guys might wonder what is this spacer for? So this spacer here actually it converts uh, the BMW lock nut partner uh, 5x120 to the JDM uh, bolt partner which is 5x114 because I'm running JDM wheels. Alright, so pretty much you take out the rotor on the BMW's E46 and also E85. It's pretty simple. Now all you gotta do is release this bolt over here. Uh, this bolt I believe is a hex number 6 socket. And also after that you're gonna have to release your caliper and also your caliper brackets. And to unbolt the caliper it is pretty simple. You're gonna use a hex number 7 and there's two bolts. One on the top and also one on the bottom. And to have more space and access into the caliper, uh, you might want to release this bolt. This bolt actually holds your shocks into your knuckles. Now to take this out, it is very easy. All you need is an 18 millimeter impact socket. And once it's out, we can just move the shock on the side so we can access the caliper. All right, so once you'll be able to move your shocks on the side, uh, you can use your hex number seven socket and you can remove the caliper. All right, so once you have your caliper pinned out, you can start by removing the caliper. All right, so to remove the caliper, it is very easy. Uh, you need a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna apply up. All right, apply up and also apply in the bottom. It should pop down. Now this one is missing the caliper pin. Uh, we're gonna add that on after we're done with the process. But yes, you might have to release the pin and also pull the caliper forward. Make sure that you have pins. Pins it out. Okay. It should be out. I already have brand new brake pads for this caliper. To replace the brake pads, it's the same principle. All you gotta do is release the two pins that hold the caliper in place and slide your caliper forward. And uh, from there, you should be able to have access to the brake pads. And for last, we're gonna take out the caliper bracket that's holding the rotor in place. So pretty much to release the caliper brackets, it is very easy as well. All you need is a 16 millimeter impact socket and there's two bolts that's holding it. One is in the top and also one is in the bottom. Just 
Alright, so the bolts are out and you can just release your caliper brackets. Ta-da! Alright, so pretty much this is the last step of the process. Uh, you're gonna use your hex number 6 socket. Alright, I'm gonna take this out. This is pretty much the bolt that it holds the, the rotor in place. So pretty much from now on, we can just take the rotor out. Now there is a mistake that people always do. Make sure that your e-brake is not on. Because otherwise, the rotor won't come out. Alright, so the e-brake is released. Make sure that this thing spins. There you go. Now this thing is pretty seized up here. We're just going to grab our hammer. Tap it out a few times. And this should come out. There you go. Boom! And he's out. And then from over here, we could just use our brake cleaner, clean out everything. This thing has 90,000 miles, I believe. No, the shoes still look intact. I'm pretty sure the car was parked all the time. And also from here, you can just adjust your e-brake by using a flathead and flipping this upward. If you flip it upward, it's gonna expand the shoes and it's gonna engage a lot better with your e-brake. So we can have a tighter parking e-brake, you know. It's about to get really tight now. See, this is too much now. And once you feel your... Actually, it's still pretty good. Let me just put my e-brake. Probably do one or two more. Two. It's snug now. It's kind of tight now. I my way out. So it's kind of tight now. No, it's still good. It's still good. Let's see. E-brake is a little tighter than before. All right, so before you installing your rotor, make sure that you clean your rotor with your uh, brake cleaner because the brand new rotor has an oil film that's come on top of the rotor that's come from the factory. So pretty much you want to clean it up so your brake system can perform 100%. All right, so the rotors are cleaned. It's time to put everything back in and reverse the process. finish the product we're gonna add back our safety pin that we were missing and everything should be it boom and it's ready to go not ever forget torque your bolt back to spec. In my case, I'm going to do 75 foot pound torque.
All right, so make sure that when you do your wheel conversion, always get the hub centric ring so your wheel can rest on top of it. It's all safety. You don't want your wheel to flap around the hubs. That could cause damage onto the lug nuts, break them and have your wheels flying around. So you want to use your hub centric ring so your wheel could sit on them nice and snug. And so pretty much here's the final product. So we did rotors, brake pads, and of course we adjusted the e-brakes. Another thing that I really want to show you guys is, look at that. We got a carbon fiber wing for the BMW Z4 and this thing is looking really good. Damn, it sits so perfect. <laughs>